Hi guys. Kristen hey everybody. Um, so welcome to our second Make It Monday. Today for art, we are doing uh, tinfoil art. So what you need for this project is a piece of tinfoil, any size that you want, a black permanent marker and colored permanent markers. They don't need to be Sharpie brand, they could be any brand that you want, but permanent markers um, work the best. But if you have no permanent markers, you can use any Crayola washable markers as well. They do work just as well. Um, so you're gonna take your piece of tin foil, whatever size you want. Um, when we just did it with everyone, some people were doing really big pieces of tin foil, some people were doing really tiny pieces of tin foil. It's pretty cool, you can really do any size you want. Um, I like doing it a little bit smaller, so I took my big piece of tin foil and then I folded it in half. And you wanna make sure that your dull side is showing because that's the side that we're gonna wanna do our project on. So I folded it in half. And then I folded it in half again to make it a square and giving it a little bit more of a little thickness um, for drawing. So I have it folded in a square. I have my dull side of my tin foil showing. I'm gonna take my black permanent marker and I'm gonna just draw whatever kind of doodles I want. So I'm gonna take it and maybe I'll just draw a squiggly line here, um, some up and down here some swirls, kind of, you know, some people were drawing boats, some people were drawing uh, flowers, people were making it abstract, really whatever you want to do is cool. So once I have my drawing kind of made, whatever I want to do, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take my colored permanent markers and I'm going to start coloring in the blank spaces that are still tinfoil, okay? So I'm going to take them like this and I'm just going to start coloring however I want. Um, what we were saying before was really awesome was not, you don't really use tinfoil to draw on that much. So some of the colors were showing up differently. Um, you know, some of the, it was kind of just like a cool new medium to experiment on with our art. So you're going to just take it and kind of color it in however you would like. So I have a couple of examples that I did before. So see, I kind of started coloring here. Um, this is what we did before. So I colored in all the blank tin foil, And then at the very end, you can't really see the black lines that much anymore. And I wanted to see my black lines. So I actually was able to take my black permanent marker and go back over so that you could see the black lines again. Okay, so these are two examples that I made um, before. Like I said, very abstract, kind of just swiggles, lines, rainbows, whatever you're really feeling is pretty awesome. Um, and you can make it big, small. Uh, you can make as many of these as you want. Really, it's pretty cool because all you need is tinfoil and permanent markers. Uh, the kids who joined us just now loved it. We went for 30 minutes. They were so into it. We made so many different awesome pictures. Um, so it's just a really fun, easy uh, project to do at any time of the day. So um, thank you guys for joining us for this week's Make It Monday. Uh, next week, I'm going to just let you guys know ahead of time, we are going to need egg cartons um, as part of our project. So if you have eggs at home and you're finishing up a carton, um, just save that carton for next week. We're going to reuse it. And a really good question that was asked when I said this to the group that joined us is, does it need to be a certain kind of egg carton? It does not. It can be any materials, plastic, paper, uh, styrofoam, whatever kind of eggs you just kind of have at home. We can make that work with our project. Okay. So thank you guys again for joining us on this week's Make It Monday. I'm going to turn it over to Mr. Chris to talk a little bit about what we are going to do on Wednesday. Go ahead, Mr. Chris. All right, what's up, everybody? Uh, thank you, Shannon. That was awesome. Another tremendous art project in the books for Zoom. Uh, we're going to stick with the tinfoil theme on Wednesday, so we need some tinfoil. We will need a Tupperware or a bowl, depending on how big you want to make it, filled with water. And then a bunch of household items that are small, pens, pencils, um, paper clips, mostly, you know, change, pennies, dimes, things like that. We're going to see how much our boats that we're going to make out of tinfoil can hold before they sink in the water. And then that'll be one experiment. And then we're kind of just going to give the kids the freedom to make whatever they would like with the tinfoil and, you know, see what, what kind of boats and ships they can make and stuff like that. So we're super excited for that. Again, thank you for everyone who joined us on our Make It Monday. We can't wait to see everybody for Wednesday. Bye, guys. Bye, guys. Thanks for joining.